My name is Xavier and welcome to a recover data Holy from shadows. cash advent vehicle. That's a mouthful. So here's the, uh, I need to talk for a minute here before we start because a number of interesting things are afoot. Number one, a welcome Anaya to the team. Who, I love that blue coloring. I think I have the same thing on my armor. Uh, just a slightly different armor because this is spider. I really like that blue. Hopefully Anaya doesn't die on her very first mission here. Uh, number two, tactically speaking, we need to get- Oh, I see a civilian in there somehow. Not that, that makes any difference. We need to get over here. The plan is that- let's see how big the- how wide the map is. The ma map looks really wide. There's the boundary. So I want to take a super wide berth here. I want to sneak up with Naya, open the door uh, with Ghost Walker, then get out of there. And then we'll throw the evac flare, and then move up to it with um, Glenn, who will then hack the objective and we can get out of here. Uh, tactically speaking, this mission, I originally thought it was a UFO when I started it. Let's see if I can start moving while I'm talking. Um, let's grab Glenn first and move Glenn up to this corner Rolling. to see if there's any like drones or nonsense down here. I do remember on Henry's debut, if you guys remember this, I think it was Paul moved like down here or over here or something and activated a drone that was right here and Henry was just standing in the open on his first action. My, how Henry has grown up. Anyway, let's move up here with Naya. So strategically speaking, the big thing here um, is that this is, originally I thought a UFO, but I'm pretty sure now that it's Liberation 1. And this region, New Mexico, only has one. Or actually, is it just Mexico? I can't remember what the region's called. Uh, it only has, actually no, not one, it has two strength. So I really, really, really want to liberate this, and in so doing, generate more vigilance that the enemies will then feel inclined. Hey, let's do, um, not, let's do, uh, not drop unit sectoid. Let's do slow-mo 1.3. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, if I start liberating or gaining a lot of vigilance in Mexico, there's a good chance I can pull some of that strength away from western US, and then I'll have the ability to maybe run that network tower and not have it be so insane. Because the Western US has got up to like 9 strength. I think it's at 8 right now. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, there is a t Okay, hold on. So this tower is 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And it comes out... So I, the only way that I can get into this van is to come in from the right, right there. Because the towers don't reduce with... Um, they don't reduce with Covert. They don't reduce with uh, Ghost Walker. They don't reduce with anything, as far as I know. So... Yeah, this this really, really limits our options. As such... I mean, I have to get around there with, with uh, Naya, there's no other way. So let's move up to the car. Anyway, what I'm getting at here with all the strategies speak is that I did end up boosting this mission before I started it, after reviewing it. Um, after taking a break after the last mission. Because, number one, it was still guarded, so I was going to have extra enemies. It was uh, very light rather than extremely light. That's one, two, three, four. It is now extremely light. Uh, also, the reward was 28 intel, so I figured it's worth it to spend 30 intel. If I succeed, I get 28 of it back, and it's like it's free. But then I have Liberation 1 done. Uh, and also some experience. So, how the heck can I do this with Naya? God, look at that. She's going to have to... Maybe... Oh, wait! Container detonation in five. Also, that's a consideration because what is the um, evac here? The evac is four turns. That's another reason why I boosted because I only had five turns remaining. Or five turns for the evac. So by boosting, it actually brought me down to four. I feel like I'm just talking a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. And I'm not thinking and I should be thinking. These things can move seven tiles. One, two, three, four, or five, six, seven. Yeah, I'll be fine over here, but then how am I going to get in there next turn? I wonder if what I should do... One, two, three, four, five... I wonder, um... If they leave, maybe I should grapple up here. Well... Look at all these civilians here as well. Let's move over here for now. That'll end the turn. I don't know where the other pod is. I need to get Glenn someplace. Hey, let's check what this tower does. Precision 83 squad reflexes. Well, neither of those is very useful. Glenn probably has to throw the evac. Actually, this turn, if I want to be able to hack on this without having to use intervention. So with that in mind... Do 
Jeez, where does it make sense to go? If I go over here, Glenn might be able... Well, I don't know how the windows work on this. They, it should be a complete line of sight block. Yeah, it's a 100% line of sight block. So unless they come all the way at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. They won't see Glenn here. It's a little bit... Uh, a little bit tricksy, as it were. If I go inside, actually, they still won't see Glenn. Looks like these are all full high cover things. Here they can see him. Okay, let's do this then. Well, what if they come over here then and see through the window? Let's hide right here with Glenn. Okay. I'm actually gonna go ahead and throw the evac flare now. I'm assuming, I mean, this is kind of risky to throw it without being able to see where I'm throwing it. That is so dangerous. What if I can't hack the objective from here? I'm, I'm gonna have to hope that I can. Normally I'd like to open the door, see inside, then throw the flare. Okay. We are to revealed, and at this point, um... Maybe it actually makes some sense to run away? No, I don't think it does. Let's just hunker down and pray. Okay, they turn around perfect. Whew! <laughs> I think I heard a mech out in the background as well. Now, what I really need to do here with Naya, her number one objective is to get in there and open that door stealthfully. So let's move up to this crate, see that we see nothing, and now I think what we're gonna do... Or Glenn needs to get out of here now to a position where... we can single move him into range? Actually, I guess technically he could move up here and not be seen. And that would give him two extra All tiles right. of space. Let's see what he can do from there. Actually, yeah, we can move there and hope we can hack from that tile. I think that's where he's going to have to stay. Hold it. So he stays there. Technically, I could go open this thing right now if I didn't hunker. I could have commanded Naya, but alas, I forgot. So I think I can still do this right now. Because with Ghost Walker, I think none of them will have any vision whatsoever. They can only see right here as it is. So let's, uh, let's make sure I can walk there. I, well, I can if I just do that. Yeah, okay. And then let's, uh, Ghost Walker. Blending in. And then we'll come up like this. Wait, what the heck? I have to go... There's like some rubble here that I can't step on. Look at this. It's like a piece of rust. Wow! So in addition to this tower being here and blocking all access, there's also a piece of rubble there, and there's three civilians here. So there's like literally two tiles. This would be impossible without Ghost Walker. All right, right up to the van. Look at this sneak. We're gonna sneak in there like we're threading a needle. We're gonna open the door. Boom. Okay, now I'm a little bit worried that they'll come over here and spot her. So, oh wait, never mind. Can I, can I, uh, yeah, okay, let's do this. Let's be very safe about this. Let's just ghost walk her out of here. All we needed to do is get that door open. That was the strategy. And then we come uh, down over here. And we'll wait here. And now, Glenn... Okay, so not this turn, but next turn, he has to move out here. And it looks like, by um, stroke of experience, I can indeed, with the gutcha, uh, what is it, gutcha again? I can indeed see from that one tile. Look at that. Not from this tile, or this tile, or this tile, but I can see from that tile, this tile, this tile. That is perfect. So we don't want to do it this turn, but I think if we just hunker and don't get spotted, Covering. we've got this. It's very, very, very close. They're going away, okay. Let's do slow-mo again, because for whatever reason it got shut off. And um, from at this point, I think we just hunker. Hunker? And next turn, we hack and we get out of here just like that. This was a much more enjoyable stealth mission, in my opinion. Much, 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 much more enjoyable. Like, right down to the wire. These guys were right here. I had to thread a super, super, super needle. I had to go all around. I had to talk for 14 hours. Speaking of, slow-mo. Uh, let's hack this chest. Boom. What are the options? We have an Intel and Advanced PCS. I'm gonna go for Intel, because that'll actually turn this mission- Yes! Nice job, Glenn. That'll turn this mission into a positive Intel gain. I never actually even found the other pod, but... There's a huge, huge, huge difference between extremely light and very light on missions like this. 
Uh, we move one tile with Naya. She never even got spotted. And the boom. We out. Flawless victory. I liked that one. That was actually difficult, challenging, risky, and fun. Uh, and that's mostly because these van ones, the put, there is a pod that's like right next to the van. So you gotta be real, real sneaky with them. Double promotions. What do we want to do with Glenn? You know, airdrop is just so very useful, but Glenn is such a sneaky McSneakerson. He's like built for sneaking. It might make sense to take suppression in the event that something goes wrong at some point. Uh, is he ever going to see like real combat? Probably not. Let's build him for uh, Sneaky McSneakersons. So suppression it is. Uh, and Naya, this is a good question here. Is she ever really going to need a Shadow Strike? But Shadow Strike, eh, probably not. Let's go evasive. But just in case. We got a scope somehow. And 10 intel, very nice. And I'm pretty sure that was Liberation 1. We can verify very quickly by going into the resistance management and we see that New Mexico, it was indeed Liberation 1. So I want to go full on Intel now in New Mexico. It is New Mexico. That's kind of weird, New Mexico. All right, um, let's not go supply at all. Let's go full Intel. This haven's very important to me, so I might want to get Dagar over here to help recruit slash suss out any faceless enemy infiltrators as they were. How long till he's done? Seven days? That's kind of a while. Who else can I put in in the place of a Jaseth? And the answer is Izgatora. I just kicked him out of the squad and in he goes. I'm pretty sure he's all geared up still. Yep, he's got his armor there. He'll be fairly decent. He's at least high rank. He's, I think, some officer rank. Uh, and he should be able to kill stuff if he needs to, so that'll be good. And then I still can't do this thing here, so... What the heck do we do now? I mean, I could try to do an extract on a scientist, but I have eight already, and I'm kind of out of things I need to research, so why bother? It's just extra vigilance. Two days, 23 hours, it looks like until we must launch this. That'll probably be done a lot sooner than that. Let's just, um, scan. Well, first we need to finish contacting over here. New target. Ambush troop column, 5 days, 17 hours. Heavy. Let me take a look here. Strength 9. Heavy is really heavy, though. And who do I have available that's not wounded? I think it's too big of a risk. I mean, I could actually mount a decent squad for it and boost it, but strength 9, the last time I did something like this, there was a sectopod. Vinktonir died. Uh, let's just let it go. All right, chrysalids. I think that gives me the um, upgraded armor if I can do the proving round. Yep. The plating is a little bit better. Actually, I think it's a lot better. I think it's four ablative of HP. And now we're really, really running out of things here. I kind of actually want to research plasma for the first time, like, ever. Mostly just to get Book of Eons of Plasma SMG. But I can't afford that right now unless I render some cores, which I could do, but let's instead autopsy a shield bearer. Okay, destroy relay, light and moderate. Why is there no expiration on this? Air patrols, so we can't detect alien activities. So yeah, that mission just disappeared. I'm guessing the dark event was for air patrols. All right. Extract a scientist again, 11 hours, not gonna do that. Hey, we just got some new rebels here, recruited to West Africa. That's good, because West Africa has not been doing so well. Let's go on supply. Or do we want to stick on recruit? We probably should stick on recruit. Let's do a few more to recruits. Why? Oh wait, no. Right, it's uh, faceless time. That's why we're not doing recruits. 
Oh, and it looks like Varnik's done. All right, well, I guess they were, might as well go do this. Hack a workstation. It looks like Varnik and TD. This is for, I'm not even sure why I did this. A 26 Intel Intel package, maybe that's why. It's just gonna be a good return. Light is gonna be pretty tricky though with the two of them. I guess we'll go try it, let's see. TD and Varnek, once again. Wasn't TD supposed to be with Izgatora and I just kind of messed them up? We're in concealment. I can't really remember now. This is a pretty tricky mission. Let's do slow-mo 1.5. The number one reason why it's tricky is because there's 15 enemies on the map. See this fog right here? I don't want to be screwed over by that fog. So let's bring TD over to the corner. And we see there's no nothing actually in the fog. Very good. We'll bring Varnek up here. We need to generally get over to this. Oh, hello. That's three out of 15. This is a train in the way. And that's where we actually need to be. All right, so with these trains, I like to cross them either all the way down here or all the way up there. And I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is cross them all the way up here. Mostly because I'm just already in this, uh, generally going in this direction. And that's gonna cut into our timer here quite a bit. Oh, Andromedon. I heard that one. Up we go. We see nothing. Keep going. We see nothing. Very good. TD, a dash. God, TD just has incredible movement. So far, so good. What the heck was that hissing noise? I mean, I know it was a snake, but I don't remember them making that noise when they're just walking around. There's a turret. It sounded like there was something over here, which could actually make this mission impossible if there is something over here. Uh, well, we go up and we see nothing. Let's check this tower really quick. It is integrated comms and hypnography. For the life of me, I can't remember what either of these things are or what they do. I'm gonna be a little careful here with TD, because this is all fog and I did hear something over here, so I'm not gonna go all the way. Just in case there was something there, extremely unlikely that there would be. All right, now then, up we go. Um, really? Okay, let's keep going up. Okay. Well. Just keep going up. Uh, and now it's almost time actually to start checking for a line of sight. Ooh, I see a whole new pod over here. One, two, three, four. Where is the line of sight to the objective? Is there a line of sight? To Actually, look at this. There's not. None of these tiles give line of sight to the objective. Fascinating. Well, in that case, TD can't really sneak down here because these two... I guess he could sneak around the, the car. Uh, that's what we'll have to do then. Let's grab Varnacht and move up a bit to see if it's safe for TD to move up. Oh, hello, Andromedon, Archon, Archon. How can I pull this off? Well, I see a car here. This car could be my salvation with TD, but I'm gonna have to get around the car. Because there's no other way to do it. All right, let's dash him up. And I think I'm just gonna sit here for this turn with Varnek. Alright, they go inside. There's got to be a place to hack this from, from where I just came with TD. But even if there was, how would I get him over there? This is now the new issue, because he can't- these civilians are in the way, and they're 100 actually, no, look at that! He can go right over the rock! Okay. Now, let's check line of sight. Where are you, indicator? It looks like not this tree, but right next to this tree is good. Okay, that's good. This is good. And all these tiles are good, and even this is good. So, right in here. That's where we need to... to throw the evac flare. And the way we can do that is we move in like this. On my way. We should have no line of sight. Now, will we have line of sight if we throw this is the question? I mean, in theory, it almost doesn't even matter. But I'm gonna throw it anyway. 
And this stuff like this should not be doable in just a few days when there's like a balance, the first wave of balance changes. For now, though, they definitely are doable. So we'll do that. We'll hunker. And then I think Varnak can just move away over here. Moving to designated position. And we wait. Here they- oh, they are coming very close, and they did see TD just like that. Wow. Even hunkering through the car, and they also spot a Varnex. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. <laughs> but you know what, though? It really doesn't matter a whole lot. Even though they have both of these overwatches, how can I cancel them both, is the question. Actually, it looks like I can't, so I'm gonna have to take at least a little bit of damage here. So let's start off using Varnacked. We're gonna slice this Andromedon to get rid of his Overwatch. 88%, 98 with Graze. Very good, it's gone. Hard target. Wait, did he stun it? That's pretty cool. And how was he not revealed before? Did I, did I not notice that or something? Uh, regardless, no matter where I go, this Archon's gonna shoot us. The alternative is to have TD pop Fortify on himself. Aid protocol him. No, because then I'd have to command, and that would end the turn, so. Yeah, there's not really any other alternative besides having TD run an Overwatch against an Archon with 6 HP with a proximity bonus. We're probably better off. As much as I hate this, Varnak's gonna be a hero here. And... Actually, what if I if I move from this tile to this tile? I don't think that'll spawn the pull the Overwatch. I think that will pull the Overwatch. So I'll pull it at least with some cover, maybe, and then I can come back here. Oh, Go Varnex! Dodge, dodge! Look at that hacks! All right. Yeah. So in just a few days, stuff like this won't be possible because it'll be a minimum of a two-turn evac, at least on Legend. I would have had to have um, popped uh, Intervention and thought a little bit more and some other things like that. But yeah, all Overwatches are clear. TD is now good to move up. Of course, we can hack the objective because Gutsy again, don't lie. At least not anymore that I've seen. Ooh, I definitely want the contact cost. I've been wanting this all game, especially because I'm planning on not necessarily building a radio tower on the next contact. Nice! Good job, TD. That's like minus 26 intel, or double that if I contact a region that uh, I don't have a radio tower next to. Anywho's, we out. Yeah, I would have had to rethink that quite a bit if this was um, just a couple days from now, which interests me greatly. But for now, a flawless victory. When the troops return without any reported casualties. TD with his hacky yeah, hackiness, just route. promoting his way in nine missions with four kills all the way to gunnery, Sergeant. Uh, supposedly that's fixed, but I don't have the build that fixes it. Anywho's threat assessment. Um, scanning protocol actually might be useful. But then again, TD does occasionally go on missions, and I built him 100% like normal uh, mission specialist, so we'll do that. Here we go, we got no loot. Very good. Okay, can we please finish a contacting? Yes. New regional contacts what I actually wanted to do was um, have West Asia be the one that has reduced contact, because I want to contact that, then build a radio tower for New Arctic. So which region was it that we got the discount on? It's not New India. It's a neighboring region somewhere. It's not New Brazil. How many other things are there? Like, it's not Western Europe. I wish they just made it your next one. It's not Eastern Europe. That's every region in the game. That I haven't contacted. Oh, wait a minute. Is it, is it a 
is does it have to be a region next to Australia? Because I've already contacted New Chile, I've already contacted Western US, I've contacted New Indonesia, and I've contacted South Africa. So did succeeding in that hack actually do 100% nothing for me? Whoops. I'll check one more time. Not Western Europe. Not Eastern Europe. Not Western Asia. Not New India. Don't have any contact with New Arctic. Maybe that one's the cheaper one? I doubt it. Um, not New Brazil? That's everything. Yeah, so I guess it did nothing. Oh well. So let's gear up this haven now. Do the same thing we always do. I'll go 4 Intel and... Um, what's the strength here? 3? That's actually pretty good. We'll go on Recruit. Who do we want to put in as a Haven Advisor? Probably... Actually, Nefertiti would be pretty good as a... No, Simon! Simon can do that. I hope to God he gets a rendezvous and can murder some Faceless. But in the meantime... Let's come over here and finish... What was it I was doing someplace? Building a radio tower? Four more days? Setting course for the West African sector. Message coming through, Commander. Ah, the Putting month ends, and I do have some faceless here. Negative 87. Resistance under your leadership, Commander, and you have outdone yourself. All right, infestation chrysalids seek to placing extra chrysalids on each mission. That would actually be great. I would love chrysalids. We'll ignore that supply drop for now. Let me think for a half a second here about what do I want to do. So. Where is the, um, the regions we're working on? So, oh, I guess Disco Caddy finished. Volatile Mix. Yeah, that's great. And, oh, it looks like Book of Eons finished as well and got Fortify. Oh, yes. Yes, please. At some point, we'll stop putting Book of Eons in tubes and actually bring Book of Eons on a mission. Uh, but for now, a fortify it is. And you know what? Why don't we put Disco Caddy back in? Because smoke is not a bad thing to have a free one of. Anyway, so supplies here, supplies there. And no other haven is producing supplies. So what that means is we definitely have faceless in these havens. And that's not really news as far as I'm concerned. So scanny scan. Shield better is done. And since I can't afford anything, it only makes sense. I mean, I guess I could do battle armor just for myself, for fun, but I'd have to go research uh, or go contact the supplies. In the meantime, let's do a data pad. I want to keep scanning this. I really want to finish this radio relay. Commander, we want to set back the aliens' work on the Avatar project. Okay, we facility in West Asia. As soon as possible. At least we know they're there. I'm probably gonna build the next radio, or build another radio relay tower here in East Asia. If I can ever get done doing this, we'll see. Hack computer, eight days, tw that seems way too good to me to be good. To be, uh, not a trap. Like, way too good, and I just did a mission there. It's light and moderate. I don't really want to do it. I could, but I don't want to. It's too much strength. What's this? Rescue. Resistance contacts. So we have resistance personnel. Personnel. Rook oh, no, personnel. This is great. Rookie. So three personnel so far. Two rookies. And four personnel. 100%. I want to do this. Especially since it's in Mexico and I want to liberate Mexico. We're definitely gearing this one up. Here's the squad. I'm going to do a boost on this one just to see what it's like to fight with a five-man squad against a very light force. And my plan here is four days, five hours. Total infiltration is going to be over that at five days, one hours. When we boost it, though, we'll be up to like six days and seven hours worth. And I'm hoping that that's enough that we can drop this down to extremely light. Uh, it may, it may not. We might be fighting like ten enemies or so, but this is a fairly decent squad. We have Mr. K. He doesn't have a coil gun, but he does have the mag gun. I built a, or I gave him a chameleon suit that dropped it off another three hours, which in my opinion is really good. Okay, Macronova does not have a PCS. Did I give him one a long time ago? And then it like got eaten? I don't, I can't remember now. I could have sworn I gave him one. This would be really, really hacking if I gave him advanced hacking plus 11 hacking and I already gave him a hacking. 
No, I think this was supposed to go to him. I hope it's not hacking. Anyway, he's got it. 88 plus 20. Very good. All right, that's good. This is the squad. Off they go. Sky Ranger deployed. And what the heck was I doing? Building a radio relay? Setting course for West Africa. Then grabbing supplies and then building myself something. A proving ground project, maybe? I can't remember. Another thing in Mexico, rescue VIP, Sergeant Carol Morgan. I don't recognize that name. A Sergeant Assault, though, is still very good. Rescue VIP from vehicle. This is Liberation 2. Four days, two hours. Let's do it. Setting course for Mexico. And here's the squad. Wade's Wise and Mazox, brought to you by Run PMC and Johnny Maple. Good lord. Mr. Um, Mr. I was gonna say Mr. Gay, but Wade Anthony's actually off training. So no officer on this one. However, I feel like these six people should be fine if I boost it. They'll be under 100%, but just barely by a few hours. So we might have a little bit more than 15 enemies. That's a lot of enemies, but these six people are unbelievably pro. One thing I do need to do, though, is check out these extra things. Elite laser sight, expanded magazine. I have an elite scope and an elite laser sight. Unfortunately, Run PMC already has one. And really, no one else is going to be using that. And I think Mitch here already has an advanced hair trigger. I don't have any better one. I could give him an elite scope for when he's shooting... Uh, and not an Overwatch, but when is that? Probably never. You know what? Let's instead give it to Dayan. An extra 10 aim, because that's what he needs. He definitely has not had enough aim, in my opinion, in this game. <laughs> uh... And no one else is really going to be shooting anything at all, so this looks pretty good. I would like to build some suppressors. I even have them researched, but I have absolutely no money. I would also like to build some chameleon suits, uh, but again, I have absolutely no money. So this will have to do, if I could have built some suppressors and chameleon suits, I could get this over 100%, which would be fantastic, but I can't. So off we go. Sky Ranger deployed. All right, now, please, let's finish this Ready relay. Course. Sector 11, West Africa. Nope. Commander, the aliens are facility in New Arctic. I'm down to two pips. Someone Taking just got recruited, I think. Ooh. One hour for Liberation 2. Soren Andrelheim. Sorry, friend, but one hour? Really? That's gonna be the worst appearance of a character in a campaign yet. Alright, I recruited one person somewhere, I think. Is it a scientist? Is it an engineer? No. Is it any of this stuff? No. Where the heck did I recruit someone? Maybe over here I have eight people hiding in New Indonesia. The strength there is now up to seven? Okay, doom! It's done! Finally! Spare parts, proving ground projects are now 33% less cost. Well, I was gonna go build something and I right-clicked. Unfortunately, because it's taking forever. Uh, and I realize I don't have any money, so let's go collect the supply drop. And then I can finally build some stuff. Nope, can't even do that. Recover item, this, ooh, what is this? This might be Liberation 1, it might also be... a... Let me check. New Chile. It might also be the precursor to a UFO at this point. Well, it could be either one, and there's no real way to tell. This is like one of the few cases where it's like impossible to really know. Alright, I am gonna do it, I've decided, and what I need to do then is get Izgator out of whatever haven I stuck him in. Probably this new one over here. Nope, that's Simon. I don't know any idea where I put Izgator. Was it down here in one of these havens? Yes, there he is. All right, we'll drop him out. Let's put Naya in here for now because she's available. Actually, Ian's even higher rank. Yeah, let's put Ian in for now. And then we're gonna go queue up this mission for potentially a UFO, probably a Liberation 1. Hard to know, really, but I do need supplies and Illyrium, so if it is a UFO, let's go for it. 
All right, this looks good to me. Two days, 13 hours. We'll certainly boost this one. We'll get up to 150. It'll be good enough. Off you go. Sky Ranger deployed. And back to scanning supplies. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even get that. Ping who? Resistance personnel, resistance personnel. Six days, nine hours. I almost certainly want to do this. Another resistance person. That's only three resistance personnel. But it's also very light and it's a pretty easy region, if I recall correctly. Yeah, just three strength. So let's definitely gear that up. All right, and without even really messing around, I mean, look at this squad. Look at this squad. Hey, Constantine, d did I not give anyone? Oh, no, I gave that elite scope to uh, someone else. You know who would like an elite laser sight though is Max if he doesn't already have one. Nope, he doesn't. He only has a regular laser sight. He can definitely have an elite laser sight then. Uh, and Paul does... Wait, no, does Henry have a scope? Of course he has a scope. How about Paul then? Um, no, he has a, an actually an advanced laser sight. Let's take that off. We'll give him a scope instead. Very good. This is fine. I mean, this squad will get in there, they can under-infiltrate a little bit, or over, whatever, whichever way you want to call it. Uh, maybe they'll get down to extremely light. I think this five people can handle up to 12 enemies. We'll see. Off they go. Sky Ranger deployed. Now then, we scan supplies. I feel like this episode is literally just scanning things. Like, scanning things. <laughs> Hacker workstation, intel package. Okay, don't care. One day. Okay, yep, one second goes by. Recover item from advent vehicle. This could... I think I did Liberation 3 here. Let's check East Africa. Did I? Nope, I didn't. Okay, that's almost certainly... Liberation 1, and it's strength 9, I'll pass. Uh, we find another mission, this time in Mexico, neutralize target, get attention. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, think about this for a second. Six days, one hour, is right? This is a fairly easy mission. In addition, we get 100 supplies and 23 intel, and all it's gonna do is spike vigilance. And I'm already doing Liberation 2 here, so I can detect Liberation 3, and then maybe I can rush through the network tower before that Vigilance gets converted into Strength in the region. And then maybe the, that Strength will get pulled out of, or at least some of it will get pulled out of Western US, making that network tower actually easier to do. So this, yeah, Western US is up to 10 Strength. I think it does actually make a lot of sense to do this, um, to do this mission, but the question is, can I even do it? Do I have anyone left after putting them all out on these missions that I otherwise could have done with like two people? But I'm electing not to. Well, in very little time I'll have three people done training. I think I can do it, but I might need to wait just a little bit for everyone to be done the training. 13 hours, 13 hours, 16 hours. Let's wait for that. Also, let's keep scanning this thing because I want to finish it. Uh, also, we see this thing. Again, I just don't care. Another thing! Hack a workstation. Oh! What is- wait, is that like a- did I do Liberation 1 here already? I can't remember. If I didn't, that's it, and I might be able to do it. Good lord. Alright, two days, 15 hours. I could do this with Varnacht, but I don't think I could do it with Naya. Unless I boost, and even then it's gonna be kind of risky. I think I can do it. So let's do this. Let's grab Naya out of wherever the heck I just put her. Was it up here? No, that's actually Ian is over there. Okay. So I think she's not even anywhere. Let's go gear this up. Setting it's going to be Naya and TD again. <laughs> We're going to end the episode apparently. Oh, we started it. Unfortunately, I still don't have the supplies because I keep trying to scan this thing so I can't build chameleon suits, which would help a lot in this instance. But even so... I think with a boost, this will be sort of doable. I'm committing a lot of resources to boosting, but that's alright. Off you go. Sky Ranger deployed. Yep, 
Okay, now then, my plan was to finish training, finish this supply drop. Then go gear up that uh, advent monument. All right. The gar is done. The disco caddy is done. Uh, Faleg is done. And the supply drop is done. Thank the heavens. Now, let's go gear this thing up. If it's even still doable. Five days, four hours. I think it is. For the Mexican well, believe it or not, I have five squads infiltrating, so I have to finally use my own squad again. <laughs> Amazing. And here's the squad. Scrappy Look Me, Disco Caddy, Dagar, and Faleg. Also, Faleg just got out of being retrained, so let's give him some promotions. We're gonna go Slug Shot, we're gonna go Trench Gun, because those are highly aim dependent, and he has lots of aim. Then we're gonna go Stun Gunner, which is the sole reason to actually respec him. And I'm thinking now that I'm going through all this, I want to go formidable so he can survive. Aggression, well, good. Also, extra con, well, good. Is probably just not as generally versatile as formidable. So we'll take that. And now we need to build some items because we're short a few things. Uh, so number one, we need a weapon for Faleg. Let's build him a scatter gun. We now need some armor for both Faleg and Dagar. And I'm pretty sure... The smartest thing to do here for them is going to be hazmat, or at least for Dagar, is going to be hazmat vest. So he can get in, uh, run through things as need be, and uh, do stuff. And then I think Faleg instead will have like a half tank, so we'll make him uh, a tactical vest. And then in terms of other items... I think... I think we want at least a little bit of something to get our infiltration down because we're exactly at what we need to be. So let's build two suppressors. Uh, then let's gear up Faleg's item here, advanced laser sight. Nope, you're gone, friend. Let's instead give you not a subcoiler, but rather a scatter gun. Also, we'll give you that vest we just made you. Faleg's going to be pretty serious business uh, now that he has all this crazy armor and such. Uh, let's give him a suppressor. We'll give him a laser sight, and that's it. And that brings us down to five days, zero hours. Okay, who else is a good candidate for a suppressor? Probably Degar, if he doesn't already have one. Looks like he does not. Boom, suppressor, okay. And he also needed the armor. There it is. That gives him just enough HP that he might survive one shot, but the plan is he never gets hit. He runs up, he kills, and then everything's dead. And I dropped the smoke off Disco Caddy because I think she now has Smoker, if I remember correctly, from the AWC. Answer, yep, she does. Wait, does that have Formidable? I never actually checked her next thing. Yeah, she really doesn't need Formidable as a sharpshooter. So that's probably all she'll ever get trained. But this looks very good. We're just under 100%. Uh, off we go. Deployed. And we got another mission. Wouldn't you know, recover item from advent train, 8 days, 13 hours to counter a dark event. Moderate baseline activity. This we definitely want to do because it's probably going to buy us a little bit more time on the avatar project. Speaking of, I need to get up here and contact West Asia. Unfortunately, it's 160 intel to do that. And I'm going to have to, I think I just queued up like four missions that need to get boosted. And we don't have the money or supply- oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. We don't have the supplies to build a radio relay here in East Asia. I wonder how much money it costs. It costs... 300. So... I might have to, out of necessity, hack a... officer. Uh, but yeah, just to get the, the pips gone from killing a codex, which is unfortunate because I don't want to fight codex at all. But let's see what's next. It looks like Macronova has a real mission coming up in just a little while. Iskator is down here. I guess we'll just spend the rest of this episode scanning in New Mexico. Yeah, I've never seen a, a vigilance spike as hard as this before. We're gonna destroy a monument and run three missions all in the course of like two days. <laughs> Advent will never see it coming. Oh, good lord. The missions, though. Sabotage monument. Nope, not happening. And there we go. It looks like this was the first mission out of all of them. And again, I'm doing these missions instead of doing like one or two man just like stupid nonsense. I'm assuming those are going to get nerfed quite a bit in this week. 
um, or at least changed, and the ideal plan is to have like four, or three, four, or five man missions. So I just want to do some to get a feeling for what they need to be balanced to, to make them more um, feasible, as it were, for the future. So anyway, we'll do this when we return. Obviously I'm going to need to boost this one. What do I get for intel? Nothing. That's just a straight up cost. But, yeah, it's extremely light. So, God, I kind of want to do this now, but this episode's already been an hour long and I've done two missions. I'm going to have to end the episode. I want to play it, uh, but I'll play it tomorrow. And I'm looking forward to it. So when's we returning? Macronova's Malicious Metal Contents goes on a jailbreak. Uh, this time an actual fighty one. Five people versus an extremely light force. Very late in the game. Uh, until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.